All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is, Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister. Lovely lass, scared to bits of life. And fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though. She don't put out, which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Nope. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. So the plan was they were going to hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Nico, man, look. I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Two of those. Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Packy. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay, that could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends. But sure, pick me up in the next hour. See you then. Can you get us a car? Shall we get a taxi or a walk? We're going to Carson Street, yeah? You got it! Here we are, man. End of the line. Food, great. A heart attack. Buddy! What's nice? I don't know. Getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. Try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. You have funny face. 
face. Hi, it's me, Nico. You wanna hang out sometime? No, another time. Okay, I'll call back. Hi, Nico. Hey, kid. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cop. What did you think about him? To be honest? I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, kid. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god! Get the hell out of the way! Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. I assume you must hate me. You up to anything? I'm bored. Sure, kid. I'll be there in an hour. Good. See you in a while. Hey, Nico. Let's get a car. This car is much nicer than the last one. Interesting choice on the top. The pants, they're a bit weird. I'm not really feeling the shoes. So. So what? So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brothers, a tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. A distinguished family of alcoholics, as you know. Let's go. I have 
short that bar. It was okay. Shit, I'm drunk. Don't worry. No, why would I worry? Why would I fucking worry? I'm that crazy out drinking with a killer and when his family's so fucked up, I don't even want to talk about it. Why would I worry? Don't worry what in me. God's name have I got to worry about? <laughs> I'm just neurotic, aren't I? Really self-indulgent, really idiotic, pathetic. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me? Probably. Psycho. Crazy. Shut up, please. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I enjoy talking with you. Don't be a creep. We're friends. Goodbye, Kate. had opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Maggie was a moralist. He seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend, Nico. I feel like you are someone I can speak to. I'm not the type of girl to get impressed by a fast driver! like this, I mean.
I enjoy talking with you. Don't be a creep. We're friends. Goodbye, Kate. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after! I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Nico, I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. I should get you out of your misery. Goodbye, Dimitri. Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principal. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my mom's. See you soon. church? So, how do sociopaths behave at weddings? Will you fire a gun into the air as your cousin walks down the aisle? No, there won't be any gunfire at this one. I might steal the collection box if the mood takes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll mug any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultra-violence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. How are you about that? Do you miss him? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah? Do you think that that is the answer for everyone then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not from me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? Can you 
How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. Oh, time to preen like a peacock. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes! Yes, I did it! Hey! <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, congratulations, cousin! Thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yes, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yes, we are married. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. You fucking double cross an immigrant shit! Nico! Nico, come on! Oh. Somebody call an ambulance! Call a fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh shit! 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 She told me to leave it! I thought I had! I thought it was over! It's never over, Aya! Nico, you can't blame yourself! Of course I can! She's easy, dead! Easy, easy, easy! Oh. Easy! Calm oh. down, man! Calm down! Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't go. Worry. We take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. Poor girl. She should never have got close to me. Of the orders here, uh, me. Uh, uh, You're not looking so uh, good there, Jimmy. Uh, screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission. The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke! Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Really? I suppose so. We won, man. We won!
So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. I never thought this would happen, Nico. I never fucking thought it. Kate, sweet, innocent Katie. I'm sorry, Pecky. I was there. I tried to stop it. She didn't do nothing to nobody. It was those McCreary men who were the sinners. We're paying for that ourselves. She didn't have to pay, too. She didn't, Pecky. You're right. I gotta be with my mom, Nico. She don't got much left other than me. And that ain't much. See you, man. It's enough. See you, man. <laughs>